today we're going to keep working on our Claude Monet artwork. Last time you were here, we learned about a very special artist, Claude Monet. He loved to paint pictures of outdoor scenes, which are sometimes called landscapes. So Claude Monet really liked to paint his garden. He would always go outside with his art supplies and look at all the flowers and trees and water, and he would paint pictures of that stuff that he found so very beautiful. So that's what we've been doing. We've been using markers to create a beautiful garden picture. The first thing to do today is to keep on filling in our garden. Anywhere that I have a white space, I'm going to add some more garden items. So I'm going to add some vines up at the top. I'm going to add some bushes down at the bottom, maybe some grass. And of course, I definitely want to be adding flowers. I've got lots of different kinds of flowers in my picture so far. I've got poofy flowers and spiral flowers, regular looking flowers with petals, water lilies. Might even add some more in my water here. Wavy lines are really, really good for making water. Now, once you have your garden really, really filled up, we're going to make it a little more like Impressionism. We learned that Impressionism meant a fuzzy painting style that Claude Monet liked to do. His flowers were just a little bit blurry and fuzzy. Same thing with his trees and all his brush strokes were just a little bit this blurry style. So to make our picture in the style of Impressionism, we're going to be doing a little trick with water. I bet you didn't know that you could paint using only water and markers, but you can. I'm going to zoom in to show you this trick. Now the secret is whenever you're painting with water and marker, you don't want to use too much water. Just a little tiny bit is going to be enough. So I'm just going to dip my brush and I'm going to wipe off some of the extra gently on the side. I'm not tapping it, I'm wiping it. Now I'm going to take my wet brush and I'm just going to start tracing over some of the lines that I did with marker. And you can see that the water starts to give the marker a fuzzy look, just like Impressionism. So I'm just going to keep tracing my lines. Wow, and it's going to start getting very blendy with beautiful colors. Maybe I'll trace this purple one a tiny bit. like magic when you paint with marker and it gives it that beautiful blendy style that Claude Monet liked so much. Now you're noticing I haven't been going and getting a lot more water. I did a whole bunch of lines with only one scoop. But now I'm going to kind of rinse my brush off a little bit, wipe off the extra. Let's try some grass. Wow getting a little bit blendy, just like Impressionism. Let's see what happens when I try some flowers. Oh wow, look at the water's going right up into that bush. How beautiful. Wipe off the extra, trace over my lines. Wow, it's like I can paint with those colors that are on my paper already. Look, I got a little bit of orange on my brush. I can just tap those around for extra flowers. Wow, clean my brush off. Try a different one. 
making my beautiful blendy picture just like Claude Monet. Now the secret to this project, you do not want to just rub your brush all over your paper. The secret is you're tracing over the lines that you already did. If you just rub your brush everywhere, then your picture is going to become a big blob. So make sure that you're not rubbing everywhere, you're only tracing. Let's try a little bit of the vines up at the top. Maybe I'll add some leaves. I didn't do that with marker, but I can do that with my paintbrush now. Because I had just a little extra white space up there. You're going to keep on tracing over your garden with water until you've created a lot of beautiful blendy colors. When you're all finished tracing your lines, you'll have a beautiful blendy impressionism picture.